Greetings, humans. I'm Andy, and I'm George. And this is Kuzma. And welcome back to the Windmill Full Courses. What the hell is an abscission? I actually googled what an abscission is. An abscission is, um, trees shedding leaves. Huh. So that makes you wonder, how the hell can an abscission be celestial? Because planets don't have leaves to shed. Unless you're thinking about, like, getting rid of half of a planet's trees, going Thanos on it. Maybe Yari's silver leaves are celestial. Because they fall off? Yes. Maybe this is just secretly a Winter Sun tribute. Or right. a diss track. So Winter Sea... Or a what? Diss track. Of who? Of Winter Sun. Shut up! So Winter Sea has a new Winter sister. And she may or may not be related to Daryl Dixon. I like Daryl. I like Daryl Dixon too. Daryl Dixon is one of the characters from The Walking Dead. The most badass one. Yes. And while it is probably the case that Kayla Dixon, the new singer of Winter Sea, isn't related to him because, well, he's fictional... Which kind of makes that unlikely. Um, we do want to evaluate whether she's as badass. This should be interesting. I'm not sorry. I am cringing so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. I mean, no.
let me make one thing clear. They didn't get a new singer. They didn't hire a new singer. They didn't recruit a new singer. They summoned her with a fucking pentagram <laughs> and a bunch of candles with weird inscriptions on them. That's actually not what I was thinking. What I was thinking is the lizard people are real. Demons, lizard people, potato, potato, pick your conspiracy. Like, I am willing to guess there are no special effects in this. It's all her. Yeah. Sorry, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, Carl leveled up because that's a damn fine kiesel he got there. Yeah. He's the decapitated type. Yes. When bands, bands use decapitated instruments, they get better. Do decapitated use decapitated instruments? I doubt it. They really fucking should. We gotta talk about this now? Um, That's not easy. As usual, their videos make no sense, which is great. Yeah, it's just like creepy stuff happens. Yes. <clears throat> um, there was no abscission. There were alien explosions. There was a big egg coming from the sky. Yes. I wonder if there's eggnog in it. Right, so, um, you know how Rings of Saturn plays Alien Core? Yes. Vintercy with this song plays Alien Black Metal. Yeah. That's what it is. You know what it reminded me of? Farscape. The, the series? Yes. Watch the sci-fi season series, Farscape. Particularly the episode where some aliens are literally eating a living ship. And it's all just screams of terror and agony and it's a hellhole in there and everything is gore. That's what it reminded me of. I don't remember that episode. I must have repressed it. Like I'm about to do with this because that shit was traumatizing. <laughs> I love it. Give me more. Yes. Okay, so, uh, very beefy muscular riffs to yes. do, 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 It's clearly a song that's made to showcase her. Yes. It doesn't have a clear solo section. It hasn't, ha doesn't have any extended instrumental section. There's vocals all the time. You have like a pretty small solo pretty early on. And then over the last part, um, there were lead stuff happening, but there wasn't a section dedicated to them. You always had vocal parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. And the whole, the whole song was a lot more of a unit. Mm -hmm. Starts here and there, horror in between. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wanna know how y'all did like the eye effects and the like, you contacts know, and face paint. Or maybe masks. And Who's your makeup artist? I need him for Halloween. Yeah. Halloween is coming. We're, we'll get him a plane ticket. Just get him over. Him, her, it, whatever. <sighs> we may assume that it's not human. Right, so I think we can conclude that Daryl Dixon has some serious competition. Yes. yes. That was badass. Yeah. And I think her vocals are so multifaceted because, right, we said that it's a vocal-centric song to showcase her. Let's actually also talk about the vocals. I feel like we've been circling around that because we're scared. Yeah, and Jeremy. We also got to talk about Jeremy. Yes. He's a sexy motherfucker even when his brain looks like it's about to explode. <laughs> um, right, so the screams that she opened with are very winters. Yeah. I, I, I was almost wondering, okay, is, is this just her scream? Is, does, is her scream just very similar to Avian? Or is she specifically making it that? Mm -hmm. But then the clean came. Yes. And the clean is an entirely different thing. It's like big fat fucking belting. Yeah. I feel like if you were to hear this on audio without knowing that it's a new singer, the screams would come in and you'd be like, okay, screams. And then the cleans would come in and you're like, who is this band? Are they yeah. the same people? Like that was very different. Yeah. And then, not only that, but she also does this like gritty high singing that's kind of yeah. mid scream. Yeah. That was really, really cool. And then at the end, you get the horror howling. Yeah. Like that just feels like the only singer I've heard do anything like that is Masha from Arcona. And we know she's not human. Yes. So, um, guys, um, if there's one thing you should do with this singer is a DNA test to confirm her species, uh, and then just don't, don't piss her off. Yeah. Don't, okay. Don't piss her off. Um, and keep her. Definitely keep her. Yeah. No dissing on Avian. We love Avian. Avian is great. Yes. Good luck on Twitch, Avian. I mean, I feel like I'll be twitching after I heard this one. I am twitching. <laughs> Are we done here? No. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we'd greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. We're bells. We're scared. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay and we'd love to see you back at the window very soon. We're scared. Of course, it's out. out.